What's up? We're Beautiful Bodies. We're hanging out with Rob. From Punk Videos Rock. What's up? Oh, so much excitement right now. Uh, uh, yeah, what's going on? That's day one. Let's do that again, day number 39. What are you doing? <laughs> we'll be like suntanned and fried to the max. Oh, no. But it'll be worth it. But I'll be wearing this, so we're good. Rude. Did you Rude. guys, did you, do you feel like you packed properly for this tour? Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> I did. I'm wearing a kimono. That's your first sign of a good packer. Because that way you can wear whatever you want for the females. You know, you can wear whatever you want, just put a kimono. You could wear a bikini and put a kimono over. You're good. You do anything with no, it. the same. I wear the kimono over this as well. So we're gonna get myself a kimono. I think you need to pack sunscreen, wow. uh, definitely a hat, um, coconut water. Oh. Mm-hmm, that's right. Listen to the hippie here, Ooh. look at that. I am a hippie, 100%. Oh, I like an that. An Italian hippie. That's a new one. She's a weirdo. <laughs> Don't ever interview her, she's the, crazy. The sun is actually getting to me. Again, it's, it's, it's day one, guys, it's day one. Losing it. <laughs> so Vans Warped, do you guys have a new record out here? Yeah. Perfect way to promote the record, Battles. Let's talk a little bit about this. Let's, what? <laughs> Yeah, Dude, we're stoked. Battles, it finally came out like four days ago, five days ago? Yeah, on the 16th online, and then it comes out a hard copy July 10th. Now, I want to talk about that finally part on there, because that's what you guys posted when you guys released it. Yeah. So how long, oh, you've been of, yeah, how long of a production did it take to get this rock, uh, record to, to finally get out here? Well, we're perfectionists, and right. so... Well, we started in 1984 yeah. was when we started recording. We started recording in 84. Okay. No. Um, I, could, I, could, I could get a little bit of that, you know, that sound from 1984. But, <laughs> but like, we're, like really, we're really a hands-on David band. Bowie. Yeah, David Bowie yeah. is on the record. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, I was going to go on with that. But um, no, we, we're really hands-on with everything. Like, we, we're really involved as far as anything from the music to the artwork. Like, this stuff's important to us, like how the mixing is, how mastering goes. So, you know, we don't let little things fly by, although I wish our manager wishes we did. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, well, we just took our ta time with it. I don't think there's any rush to put out something that you're proud of, so... And we're really stoked because the record's very versatile. There's um, a bunch of different, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we'd been working on it for a while, even before we, like, we went to the studio with John Feldman and... and Which was a great choice, by the way. Dude, he's I awesome. love that guy. I have, I have yet to, like, actually have a conversation with him, but yeah. I love that guy. Oh, you have to. Come to. Out, but he's not going to be here today. He's going to be in Ventura. Otherwise, I'll be in Ventura. I will be in Ventura. Yeah. Okay, cool. He's, it was Father's Day, but I said, if you don't come out, you're not my father anymore. Yeah. That's a tough one. Weird. Harsh. It is weird. Single tier. But yeah, so we started working with him before we even did the record. And then it's been a long process because honestly, we, we wanted to do it right. And uh, so yeah, we finished. It's been almost a year. Well, we went to the studio about a year ago. And then we remixed and did some more stuff. And now we're ready to rock. Now, if you guys went in the studio with him about a year ago, how did that actually happen? Because I know for the last couple of years, he's been stuck with Five Seconds of Summer. So how did you guys get that kind of time with him? I think cause John, I, so I've known John since I was... I don't even know, a teenager. He brought my high school band on tour. So I've known him for years. And so he's been awesomely rad about this. Like, so he basically just kind of took us under his wing and he's like, look, you guys are my like baby ba or my like, uh, what did he say? He ba basically he's like, you're the band that I want like to explode. I love you guys, et cetera, et cetera, which is really cool. So he's like, he made the time. He like, he pushed everybody aside and was like, let's do some beautiful body stuff. So we've been in and out of the studio with him. He's been rad. He's been really cool. What did, what did he do to you guys as far as uh, recording? Like, how did he, like, I guess you could say drill you guys. Whip. He would whip us, and I have marks on my back. Um, I became really good friends with his wife. I love Amy and his kids. They're awesome. Um, but, yeah, no, he beat the crap out of us. Literally and figuratively. Literally. No, like, day one, he was like, you're going to be, you're, what was our schedule, 9 a.m. to 3 a.m.? And we're like, ha, 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 ha. And then we realized, oh, wait, it's really 9 a.m. to 3 a.m. <laughs> and he's just so intense. I mean... When you go with John, his thing is like, he's not like one of those producers who's like, oh, I need some more vocals here. He's just like, oh my God, that was awesome. That was so rad. You know, like he freaks out. So by the yeah. end, you're like, what? That was awesome. And you get so stoked. You know what I mean? Like, so he infuses his energy into what you're doing, which makes the record rad. It's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. What, what's uh, one of the songs that you guys have been uh, getting a lot of feedback on on this record? Well, definitely. Besides the single, of course. Yeah, besides capture and release, um, we've we get a lot of uh, we've been getting a lot of feedback on a couple of different songs. Subversive Lover, which is very dancey, and then dancey, the dancey, dancey, and then 
And then, Astro uh, Band. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's. I already like these guys a lot, and this is interview one. Interview one, so three thousand, three million. Uh, lies, a song called Lies. She's Rodney, Rodney from K Rock actually played Lies before we even like put the record out. Like he's been a super supportive now, guy. Is, is it crazy that you guys are getting that kind of like? Because uh, it's organic. Yeah, like, it, like it's just happening. Mm -hmm. It's very organic, um, and then of course now we're on Epitaph, which is awesome, and they've been super supportive, and they're great. We couldn't ask for a better label because they've been, um, they're really supportive of our own ideas. Like they, they let us have a lot of creative control, which is great. Yeah, they're like your quintessential. Like I feel like there's a lot of indie labels that are basically run like, kind of more like a major label or more like oppressively. Epitaph is about as cool as it gets in terms of labels. They're so rad. So this tour, what is it that you guys are playing from the record? Uh, capture and release the single. Um, uh, all of every song that we play that we're playing on the set is on the record. Lies. Um, invincible. She's a, invincible. She's a blast. Uh, Forever. Forever. I love that song. Ride the lightning. Master of puppets. Rain and blood. The list just goes on and on and on. I wish we wrote rain and blood. 1984. Mm yeah, exactly. Totally. Mm yeah. <laughs> Slayer and Hanson, all in one. That's what you That's get when you be band. It's Slayer and Hanson. That would be cool. You guys are a fun bunch. I like that already. I can only imagine what the rest of the band is like. Oh, they're they're, even, we, they're, we they're fun. We couldn't let them be on the interview. They're worse. I have to say, we're the focused ones, which is that's pretty rough. No, I'm not focused. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's uh, called irony. This is irony. Uh, our band is awesome. Like we actually get, to, we're very, very fortunate to get to work with um, uh, really cool guys that get it as much as we do and like put in as much as we do. So they're great. So you they're guys, nice. you guys dropped the record, specific, not specifically for Warp Tour, but good timing for Warp Tour. Any plans for a proper tour for for the band and the record? Yes, and that is being worked out. There's a couple things in the mix, but nothing confirmed, so we don't know yet. But yes, we'll be out in fall, and then winter, and then spring, and then summer, and then... We basically will be touring for the next 10 months, I feel like, so... And lastly, capture and release. What is, what is that about? You. Me and you. I knew it. I had a feeling that's what it was. I felt no, that connection. I PBR and Beautiful it. Bodies. There you go. Don't forget, you guys. This is number one of what? Three million? Three million. Deal. It's contract. We're stuck now. That's it. It's on air. We're stuck. That's Three million. It. It's live. You guys heard it here first. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, Thank guys. You. I look forward to seeing you guys live. And uh, subscribe. Check them out. Get the album called Battles. And you can get it where? At our merch table. Or? The interwebs. Or? iTunes. Spotify. Spotify. And Epitaph, Epitaph Records. Website.